For the past year, I've been building a browser extension that allows users to better organize their chats and prompts in ChatGPT and Claude. And honestly, it was going pretty well. The extension grew to over 14,000 users and I was getting sales daily. It felt like I was finally building something valuable. But then, OpenAI released their new projects feature, basically their version of organizing chats in ChatGPT. Overnight, it felt like my extension just became redundant. I started getting feedback from users saying they were leaving because the feature is now built right into ChatGPT. My Stripe revenue took a hit, customers were cancelling their subscriptions and the uninstall rate was growing and I couldn't really blame them. It's hard to compete when the platform itself is offering your core feature right out of the box. It made me feel like the past year's worth of work was a wasted effort. So for a few days, I was just stuck. I thought, is this it? Did OpenAI just end my startup? But after diving into the new projects feature, I understood its strengths and more importantly, its gaps. And there were quite a few. For starters, you still can't group projects together, which makes things messy, especially since the sidebar only shows a maximum of five projects at a time. And if you're a heavy custom GPTs user, projects currently doesn't support those chats. And that's when it clicked. I saw this as a chance to build on top of what they released. I decided to make their feature better and by proxy, my extension as well. So I shipped two new features, project folders and bookmarks. With project folders, you can group multiple projects together in a tree-like structure and bookmarks keep important projects easily accessible. The best part is that these features doesn't directly compete with OpenAI. They complement them. Users can still use their projects as is, but my extension adds that next level of organization for bigger and more complicated workflows. And honestly, I'm quite proud of how it turned out. Instead of letting OpenAI's update replace my product, I used it as an opportunity to improve it. If there's one thing this experience has reminded me, is to ship fast and often. It took OpenAI two years to release a folders functionality. And during that time, I built, iterated, and refined a feature that matched exactly what their users were asking for. Sure, I knew it could eventually become redundant if they choose to roll out their own version, but that's exactly my point. When you are working solo, speed is your biggest advantage, especially when you're competing with the giants. If users tell you they need something, build it quickly and get it in their hands. Worst case scenario for me, OpenAI eventually implements the features themselves. But the best case scenario, I gain experience, ship valuable features, talk with real users, and earn some extra income. And the bigger takeaway I want to share with you is, try to be an optimist. There's a quote I love that says, optimists often build wealth and get things done, while pessimists just get to be right. And it's so true. When I first released the extension, I had countless people telling me that building this extension was pointless. Why build something? OpenAI could just ship themselves in a few days. And they were right. But choosing to stay optimistic, despite their comments, has paid off in many ways. My pointless extension grew to over 10,000 users, generated me over $60,000 in revenue, helped me grow a YouTube audience, and has taught me so much as a developer and a founder. Compare that to what I would have achieved if I took their advice. To be clear, optimism isn't about ignoring hard facts or just being naive. It's about seeing challenges as opportunities to build, learn and grow, even when the odds seem stacked against you. And I think adopting that kind of mindset is what makes all the difference. With my extension now feature complete and running mostly on autopilot, I've started thinking about what's next. And honestly, I feel like it's time to make my first startup exit. At this point, selling the extension will give me some peace of mind and some extra financial security while I travel and focus on my next project. It's also a great chance to learn what it's actually like to navigate the process of exiting a startup you've built from the ground up. And this experience has made me value the amount of freedom I have as a solo founder. I can just brainstorm ideas that excite me and move in the direction that feels right. Speaking of which, I'm already excited about what's next. My next project will be built with all of the lessons I've learned from this experience and I can't wait to share it with you guys soon. One effective way to market your startup is by taking advantage of SEO. SEOwriting.ai is a tool that leverages AI to help you produce high quality SEO optimized blogs for any product, service or topic. The tool I'll be using a lot from now on is their one-click blog post generator. To use it, you simply fill out the step-by-step -step form where you can customize almost every part of your blog, such as the language, the type of article you want to write, how long you want it to be, tone of voice, and much more. And once you're happy, just click run and your blog article will be ready in seconds. Alongside that, you also have the option to make sure the AI writes the content that aligns with your brand. And one thing I think is super useful for solo founders is the ability to repurpose that same blog 
blog for multiple social media platforms. And you even have the option to use your own OpenAI and Anthropic API keys so you can be sure you only pay for what you use. The team at SEOWriting.ai has kindly provided a 25% discount for you guys to try. Just use code EDMUND25 at checkout. And thank you to SEOWriting.ai for sponsoring this video. Check them out. First link in the description.